from a room next to my bathroom in my basement. This is my worst holiday. It's a podcast about your worst wedding, funeral, bachelor party, bachelorette party, or whether it's funny after the fact. We want to hear it. And today we have a very special guest, Mr. Colin Wrestler. Colin, say hello. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me. This is awesome. Super excited to be here. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So, man, tell us everything about you. Like, uh, you're a writer, you're a director, you're a, well, one handsome fella anyway. I'll, gi I'll give you that. So, Thank you. Know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm, I'm a writer, director, producer. I make uh, independent films for mostly horror, but I sometimes do other stuff. And um, I also, uh, do my day job is a cinematographer in the film and video uh, world mostly TV stuff, but um, yeah, I love what I do. Can't complain. <laughs> Either would I, if I was doing that, like, uh, yeah, like <laughs> I, I, I sell packages to kill bugs. I mean, and actually I can't complain about that either. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's that's cool. a gig. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's fun. It's, it's all right. It's, it's not, yeah, not too like, bad. Like, you know, movie making or anything like that, but I, I got my little <laughs> hobby here with a, little bit of boost so we got that going <laughs> that's awesome well i really appreciate it. i'm happy to be here this is awesome yeah tell us all about the mummy murders man that's coming out tell us everything about that yeah so um the mummy murders is a um a serial killer based horror movie um the preview looked fantastic thank you so much yeah no we uh made here in texas independent film shoestring budget um, Will Donahue and I came together. Will Donahue's a writer down here in Texas, amazing horror. I mean, he writes everything, but we kind of came together, brainstormed, came up with this story. Will did most of the heavy lifting. He's a brilliant writer, like I said, and he actually used to work in funeral homes. So the killer in this movie has a connection to funeral homes. I'm not going to give too much away. Yeah, my buddy's yeah. grandpa was <laughs> a mortuary, and I got to hang out in the mortuary quite a bit. Oh, really? As a kid, yeah. Wow. That's a lot of fun, you know? <laughs> well, a side story. One time I was I was doing a reality show, and it was, a, it was about a mortuary um, family, runs a mortuary, and I, a lot of times, like, when when there's downtime on reality television they'll be like hey go colin go get some b-roll of whatever so i i don't know where i'm doing so i'm just kind of walking around and i go in this room and i'm filming and then i back in and there's like a a dead body on the table behind me and i was so scared I was like, ah! and i just freaked out I was like, and that's when yeah. Tom learned that he could scream like a woman. That's the. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm pretty good at screaming. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I was like, I'm pretty no, good at that. No, fucking no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I, it was, yeah. So, but yeah, it's uh, um, the, the film's coming out January 2nd, all over streaming, TV on demand, on your cable channels. Apple TV, um, baby. You're on Apple TV. Apple TV. It'll be, uh, uh, it'll be on Amazon Prime. But right now, we're begging people to go and grab a, a pre-order in iTunes Store. And I just want to say this. That if your audience, anyone in your audience is into horror and whatever, we're uh, the first 10 people that send us back a receipt or show it that they purchased the movie. We'll send them a T-shirt, a free T-shirt uh, with the logo on it and everything. So, you know, we're trying to we're trying to get people uh, amped up about this. Yeah, where can they find you to send you that? So they get Facebook, Colin Bressler on Facebook or eating crab studios eating crab studios on instagram eating, eating crab studios. they can dm me on right. either place yeah that's my that's my new studio company that i'm doing with all my horror movies and stuff i've done that's fantastic uh i got i got Thank us on you. facebook live i got us on two streams on facebook live one stream on youtube uh at my worst holiday podcast uh and uh so people will chime in and i'll say give them shout outs and uh talk to them and uh 
tell them you know who you are again. So as people join in Sweet. randomly, yeah. Like, I don't awesome. see who's on there. Somebody gave me a, like a thumbs up, but I don't know who the fuck it was. It's not showing up on there. So, oh well. <laughs> So everybody, we're talking to Colin Bressler. He is a writer. He's a cinematographer. Uh, he is a director of two movies that I know of, uh, The Mummy Murders and uh, No Promised Land uh, with Destiny uh, Siorta. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. What's her last name? Destiny's, yeah, No Promised Soria. Land. Soria. Destiny Soria. I had her that on. She, she was lovely. Uh, there you go. No, no promised land. There it is. So, and that you can find right now on uh, Amazon Prime. Is that right? Oh, that one's on Tubi. 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 You can find that one on Tubi. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, check it out. Let us know what you think. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, tell us. Uh, okay, uh, we're talking about the, the mummy murders. Uh, tell us uh, about like uh, no promised land. Like uh, where where that concept come from and all that. Oh, yeah, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, so that film, um, I just, it was honestly more of an experiment for me. Um, I wanted to do something a bit smaller, a bit more kind of not horror, kind of more drama, suspense. Um, and it just kind of popped up. I drive a lot in Texas. You kind of have to drive a lot, obviously. Yeah. Um, and I was space. driving in a good time. Got, got some space out there. A little bit of space. Yeah. 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 A little bit of highway. Um, and, you know, I was just like, oh, you know, uh, what if, what if a mother and her like three-year-old son were on the run from the police kind of thing? And it just kind yeah. of like snowballed from there. And Destiny, as you know, gave an insane performance. I mean, she is so good. She helped produce the film. She was an incredible, I mean, just brought it every day, incredible skills. Mm -hmm. And in the film, she deals with, uh, you know, like I said, she's she's a mother bringing a three year old. Yeah. But what people have to understand is there was a three year old on set <laughs> and I'm sitting here, I'm running cameras and doing audio and everything. And and poor Destiny kind of had to be like a mom and tell him when to stop talking and all this kind of stuff. So, I mean. You know, I could, I literally couldn't have done the film without her. She was incredible, and it was, it was a crazy experience, to say yeah, the all, least. Yeah, you can see, like you can see by her personality how she can take on a character. Uh, you know, and, and she, yeah, she was a lot of fun to have on. Uh, I call her a kick-ass kickapoo. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Like, I'm sure she appreciated that. She's a kick-ass kickapoo. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she must have loved that, actually. <laughs> you're like i don't know maybe <laughs> so so december december 2nd we have uh the mummy murders coming out uh january 2nd um right now it's on itunes store um for pre-orders and the whole thing about that is that's kind of crazy so gravitas ventures uh picked it up and they're they're um they're distributing it and they're freaking amazing they're like They've been so great to work with for an independent filmmaker on my level, like no budget filmmaker. They've been so supportive and awesome. And so basically the only thing about it is, is that because of the algorithms, as you know, as someone who does YouTube and Facebook and everything, right. for us to hit an algorithm, the, the movie has to get X amount of pre-orders right. so that it hits, you know, it hits a certain audience and then triggers things within the algorithm of iTunes, the yada, yada, yada. The rest is history. So, so that's where we stand. I mean, we're just kind of like promoting, 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 just trying to get you know as many people to go go grab the pre-orders, and then January second, it'll be it'll be live all over the place. You know, iTunes. I mean, um, Amazon Prime and all kinds of video on demand sites on Dish and Direct TV and all that stuff. Awesome. Awesome. So hit us with a hit us with a story. What do you got? What's uh what 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 happened to you in your life? Uh, that that's hilarious. Let's uh. So um, I'm gonna tell you a story. So I was filming a movie, a documentary in India. And hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually got people I can see now. So oh, Stan nice. Williams is joining us. How you doing, Stan? Sean Pratton from the uh, Sensibly Cynical podcast is also joining us. We're talking to Colin Bressler. Uh, he's got the Mummy 
uh, murder movie coming out on January 2nd. It'll be on all the platforms that you can get that you, that's out there. He has a movie out right now on Tubi called No Promised Land with Destiny uh, Soria. Soria? Damn it. I keep messing that up. Uh, Soria, yeah, yeah. And she's just lovely. Uh, so, yeah, go go see that as well. So, anyway, you are in India. You are shooting a documentary. You have the floor. So I'm in India and I'm shooting a documentary. And one of the things about this documentary, uh, this this why we were in India is they were having uh, a a huge huge bathing festival for the Hindu religion. So this is like the amount of people. It, it, it it's like New York City on any average day times like thirty. I mean, yeah. there's 35, 40 million people there's at any given time. There's a lot of them. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and don't. Don't drink the water out of the Ganges. Don't do that. Yeah, that's where we were. That's yes. where we were. The Ganges. Well, yep. The Thank you. Ourselves is in the Ganges, which is the nastiest <laughs> piece of water. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we had a, our where we stayed was on one side of the Ganges, and then we had to cross the Ganges every day on these little boats. Yeah. And you would look down into the water, and you'd see like little calves, like floating dead bot, you know, calves dead body. and like. Yeah dead body <laughs> no, i didn't see any dead bodies but um and there were people bathing in and i was like uh check please at this time i think they're actually immune to cholera at this point so <laughs> probably uh, yeah so i'm um i'm filming this 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 thing and i've always been a pretty aggressive camera guy i'll try to get my shot no matter what um, and so we're going in and there's this like famous guy speaking and there's a billion people trying to get in and it's this little area. It's all makeshift, by the way. It's not nothing. It's in the middle of a desert, empty land. And everybody made, made these giant, you know, I don't know, pop up tent type places. Yeah. And we go and they're like, no, 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 no more. No one can get in. You know, that's it. So I look over. We're what, the director. Everybody's kind of like, oh. Did they have bouncers at the at the religious thing. Oh man, they? this sucks. Oh. All right. I know the owner. You do not. No, know I see the a little owner. hole you in the, in the, the tent area. Yeah. <laughs> you are not friends with Vishnu. You you <laughs> so, are not friends with Vishnu. <laughs> no. Not friends with Vishnu. No. Okay. And I go. I see this little area. So I'm like, all right, hold on. I'm gonna go. So I tuck the camera into my shirt. Yeah. To hide it. And I go around the side yeah. and I see this little sliver up between like the, the little makeshift tent type things. And I'm like going in and I'm all I go in and I'm I'm like celebrating. I'm like feel so good about myself. I'm like, yeah. And I take the camera out and I'm about to get ready. I look back at my assistant's following. And all of a sudden I feel like crack. And I'm like, oh, what is that? And another crack, the, a guy starts flogging me, yeah, with a bamboo stick. And all of a sudden, this other dude hits me with a taser. I go oh. down to the ground. I wake oh. up. Yeah, I wake up. I, like, passed out. I wake up. I'm, like, in the arms of outside now, in the arms of the director. Yeah, I'm laying on the ground, and he's, like, holding me. And, like, I'm, like, coming to, and he's, like, what the hell is that? I was, like, he's, I was, said, I, well, I was going in. I was trying to get in. He's, like. He's like, dude, don't do that here. Like, you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, they 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 flogged me like they were just hitting me with bamboo sticks, and then like this guy Jat like hit me with the taser, so I passed out. They're hitting my like dead body basically on the ground. <laughs> These fuckers. The director was like, man, man we should have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was uh it was interesting. It was one of many uh insane experiences during that that trip uh, i can't even imagine that uh, i can't even imagine that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, it was crazy it was crazy i mean there was oh go ahead did you get your shot did, did you get your shot <laughs> no no i didn't get anything like i said i i got they they tased me and then knocked me over. you know it was like i i didn't get anything <laughs> after the all that effort what you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Let me just say, this was a long time ago, but back then, Indian police were ready with their flogging sticks because I got flogged a bunch of times. They would just go, whap, 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 and just hit, nail you. Yeah. It's like for little things, too. Like if you if you looked at a, 
a, a guy you're not supposed to look at on the street you're getting like hit by a guy like all right what? all right calm down what? you can't look at a guy you can't look at a guy can't look at a guy can't look at any guy no i'm kidding i don't know. <laughs> don't look at the guys okay hey what's with that little thing in the middle of your <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, with something else. I'll just say that. Well, I'm That's glad my they story. Why? One, I'm, I, I wrote a, I wrote a script actually about that whole experience over there. You know, to to make someday. I I don't know if I'll ever have the budget to be able to do it, but I, I it was such a crazy experience that I, I I would love to like film what I went through the, over there. You know. I think that'd be worth watching. You know, I think that'd be fun. You know, I think that'd be fun. Yeah, because well, we were the crazy part is we were we were an ex not expedition, but we were like a crew of like 22, 20 something Americans all together, and we stayed in like an abandoned house. There was no doors or anything. It was just a structure in like the middle of the in this in this little town. It was crazy, man. I probably played cricket with these kids. Like it was just everything was surreal about it. Like there was nothing out, like it was just very rock. different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, it was. It was the thing. So but the, the cool thing about so like, what was, the, what was the movie about? What, what was the documentary about? about? Oh, so it was. We were following that Hindu bathing ritual. So like oh. we would, but we didn't really have a plan. So we would just kind of like shoot everything and not, I mean, I would film stuff half the time and I'm like, they're speaking in Hindi and I don't know what they're saying. So I don't even know if like the guy could literally be like, get the camera out of my face, but I'm just filming them. Cause I think it looks interesting. It was, it was that kind of thing. Yeah, it was, it was cool. It was a fun experience. I mean, it came out, it, the film actually came out pretty good. Um, you know, I was happy with my work, but it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, if everybody's listening, the name, uh, of, that was, the name uh, of that was uh, the documentary about the documentary don't, about, look don't look at that guy. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at that guy. <laughs> sounds like a good horror comedy. Don't look at that guy. Don't look at that guy. <laughs> a flogging. Oh, a flogging. Yeah. yeah, you get flogged in India if you do if you look at that guy. Uh, but yeah, it was, um, the funny thing is, so at the, that was like at one o'clock or two, like the whole event started in, the, it started at night and went through the whole morning. And that, when I got tased and all that stuff, that was like maybe two or three in the morning. And we just felt we, this was, we were shooting on film, by the way, not oh. video. Oh God. So oh, God. yeah. And my AC, she had to like carry, my assistant had to carry all these like rolls of film. Right. And we only right. had so many for that day. So like everything leading up and it's now like the sun came up. We're seeing all that. It was just, it was the most surreal day of my life. But then like, we're getting to like sun's up and, oh, we keep hearing about this like event that's going to happen, but no one's telling us when or anything. And I'm filming, I'm filming. And all of a sudden my camera rolls out and I look at my assistant and she's like, we don't have any more film. And oh. I turn around. And there's a, a, the most insane, like, the battle recreation in front of, it looks like a Ridley Scott movie. Like, dust in the air and these men, like, sword fighting and, like, with crazy and now costumes on. No. And I ran out of film. Go, oh, God. Go, oh, God. It was the hardest, like, the saddest moment of my career. I was standing there with a camera, and I literally was so like insane i was looking through the camera just to see what it looked like but i could never film it <laughs> cuz there was oh. no film that you imagine sucks. that's the one thing about this job someday i want to write a book because this job there's so many great stories from these these jobs cuz you just you're in a different place you're always meeting new people you're experiencing different things you know like bad things you're experiencing funny things oh, you're yeah, experiencing oh, yeah. traumatic oh, yeah. things my friend who owns a couple production companies uh stacy toy 
uh, she was doing a documentary in Haiti, and she just about got kidnapped. Like, wow. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Like, just, you know, yeah. just a heads up. If you're going to do a documentary in a foreign company, country, know what the fuck's going on. Yes. Yes. I agree. My town. I'm very safe here. We don't even have that in I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, that's well. That was the thing. Like in India, I've been to um, uh, China, India, Japan. Like most of these things I've done are always pretty independent. So there's not like security. There's no like we don't. You know, we're 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 just out there in the elements. You know, it's not yeah. like what like you're saying. Like you know, where yeah, I mean, you could get kidnapped, robbed at any time. I mean. You know, yeah. we were in a we went to Mexico once, uh, an island uh, called Isla Mujeres, which, Mujeres, which I highly which recommend. It's beautiful. beautiful. And uh, we were looking for we weed, for weed. And uh, the yeah. guy's like, "Yeah, here, get in the car, yeah. come with us." No. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! <laughs> I will not be partaking yeah. of weed. <laughs> You're like, nah, we're good. Yeah. Hey, what's the worst gonna happen? You get in a what's car in Mexico. We get him in a car in Mexico. What's the worst? Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, uh, <laughs> one to maybe two kidneys left. Two kidneys left. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You wake up in a in a uh, in a tub. Going, my side hurts. Yeah, they're like, we're farmers. We're farmers. <laughs> yeah. I'm the harvest. No, that's. <laughs> yeah, you have to be. You have to be. I'm not even wanting some weed, though. Yeah, that, 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 that's the furthest I've ever went out of country. That was it. Well, I went to California Man. once, and that was about the same as being out of country. <laughs> have you been? To, have you been down to Texas? Have you been to Texas? I've been through Texas. I've been through Texas. Yep. That's uh, a long the through. Drive, uh, the yeah, the, the interstate that yeah, goes through the Texas, goes New Mexico, Mexico, and Arizona. Mexico, I'm not Arizona. sure which one it is. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, that's the one, yeah, that's the one yeah. I've been on. Yeah, that's the one I've been on. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can go from – I remember one time I drove from Houston, and we had to go to um, – well, eventually we are going to Los Angeles on it. This was a show, and we're driving and driving, 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 and finally they're like, all right – He's, he's froze up. Come on back, Colin. Come on back, buddy. <laughs> oh, we got their signal locked up on Colin. It all froze up. Uh, Paul Isaacs is watching. Thanks for watching, buddy. How are you? Say hello. We're talking to Colin Br Bressler. Uh, he's a director of a, a movie called uh, The Mummy Murders. It's coming out January 2nd. Uh, it's going to be anyway, on all platforms. We drove. It's also going to be on. Oh, oh there, there. You froze up. Oh, there. You froze up. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I was just okay. saying that we drove all day and we were still in Texas. I never seen any. I never experienced anything like that. I was like, how are we still in the same freaking state? <laughs> oh shit! Like, what blew me away is when I see my first mountain out of the distance. <laughs> And you drove for a day and a half, and it was still out the fucking distance. And it was still out the fucking distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's got to be getting closer. Yeah, no, it's it... got to get closer. <laughs> <laughs> like, nobody's moving it further away. Nobody's moving you know, like. Further away, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. Can you hear me? I can. Yep. I still I can. got you. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, 
got this film and we um i have some other stuff coming up we're 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 working on some new projects we're trying to hit the ball eating crap studios on instagram we're trying to hit the hit the road hard these days it's all i mean okay, we okay, found okay, that it's, like, what, kind of, what kind of things do you have like in uh, like, uh, uh on deck like what are you, what are you like, working on so um kind of in um early post-production on another um horror movie um more of a this one's a drug i, I best way to describe it is a drug trip gone wrong that's the best way to describe it um and yeah we got uh we got some some you know actors with cred so to speak i'll i'll, I'll we'll be announcing that once we're kind of locked in and everything but um yeah that that that'll be uh I don't know, probably summer, maybe summer release, something like that, depending. Okay. And then I'm wrote, okay. writing two new scripts. One's a sci-fi, another one's a sort of serial killer horror. So we're always, you know, plugging away. As you know, content's everything. So it's like we're just kind of like, just got to keep popping it, keep popping yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you got to keep the creative juices going, you know. A body yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly i mean so yeah that's we're hustling i mean i love you uh if you've seen my friend uh, uh, uh hawkins uh he's got a movie out called uh evil works uh, that's on tubi uh he's uh, aaron hawkins and he, he's, he's a good guy because i put out that promote promo this morning and he's like, he's like, do you wake up this way? And I'm like, this with me all the time. Like, I didn't have a fucking ADD. It's not even cocaine. It's just ADD. It's just ADD. I know. That's amazing, man. What a gift. <laughs> ADD's a gift. <laughs> hey, you got energy. Energy's key. One day I forgot I had a right hand. <laughs> that, that didn't happen, but one of these days I'm going to rabbit. One of these days I'm going to rabbit. That's amazing. <laughs> I've walked in and out of the same room like five I've times. Out of the same room like five times. Like, what did I know? Oh, yeah. What did I know? Sucks. What, what, what did I come in here for? Exactly. Exactly. Or, or you know, that you, you, there's something else that you thought of the same time. It always happens in a fucking millisecond in your head. You're like, no, wait. If I, if I, if I did this or that first, I'm like, put it in Put in order. No. No. Fuck it, I'm gonna smoke a joint. Fuck it, smoke a joint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting trait. It's a good trait. It's a good trait at, for a director to some degree. I will say that because you gotta like, you gotta like balance so many different things at once. So if you're like, Spin you know, Spin <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite's waking up six hours later knowing that you forgot something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I know. I always have those moments when I leave the house. I'm like, did I leave the burner on fire? On? Yeah. Did I? You know, I'm always like having these moments of like dread of like, am I going to burn the house down? Oh, shit. <laughs> See, an ADD mind would also say he'd be very worried about it, but he'd also go, yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Yes. Yeah. That'll be fine. It'll be fine, whatever happens. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. It's one way to look at it. So yeah, so your your sci-fi thing that you're writing. What's that kind of? What's the premise to that one? What's the what? I'm sorry. The premise. The premise. So it's uh, it's future world. Mankind is gone or isn't. We're not sure. And it's about 
AI robots and sort of the AI future that I think we're hurtling towards. Okay. Okay. It's going to be like kind of lo-fi sci-fi, if that makes sense. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, small budget, but high concept sci-fi type thing. Cool. Very cool. After we get off here, I'll tell you my idea I have in the movie. Nice. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Man. That sounds good. All right, man. You got the. 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 You got the bringing me on i'm really really grateful and uh it's always awesome no you do great stuff and and i i talk to destiny and you're amazing and um you know the thing about it is like with these with these kind of films like we, we no yeah no i mean with these kind of films you know like we 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 only have you know avenue we don't have that many avenues because we just it's like ma you know we just we can only ask our mother to buy the video so many times this is the good one Mom, right. buy it again. she's like i already bought it buy another one yeah exactly so we're just you know i mean it's just really cool that you would uh showcase us and and uh and will um donahue i just want to say like will donahue amazing job jason scarborough the the lead actor in the film um and layla um layla Jason Scarborough and Layla Scott play off each other in mm -hmm. the story, and they're freaking amazing, uh, like absurdly talented, gifted actors, and they both write and direct, do all kinds of stuff too. But um, but yeah, if you're watching this and it's you're into horror, true crime, even check out Mummy Murders, the Mummy Murders on iTunes. It's over my shoulder back there, uh, but it's on iTunes Store right now for pre-order, and then January second. You'll be able to watch it if you pre-order it. If not, there'll be other streaming services where you'll be able to check it out. Very cool. Very, very cool. cool very and the name cool. of your production yeah, company again is Eating, eating the crab. crab Studio. So you're eating, eating the crab. crab. You got eating the bib. Crab. Oh, eating crab. Like the crab is eating. Yeah. So you've not, got a bib. Not, you're eating you're a crab. Eating. It's the crab eating. eating. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're good. Uh, you're good. Uh, it's a strange uh, name. I'm still will, working on it. I, I will finally I understand something if you say it enough times. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the genius of the way my mind works. Nah, you're good. Nah, you're good. I know you're not the only one. A lot of people are like, what? Sheathing, what? sheathing crabs? What? <laughs> sheathing rab? What? Uh, so I yeah, I might have seen the great beaver, but I don't know if I see the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was fun. That was fun. Thank right, you right, so man. much. Man. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Hang out for a little bit after uh, after we we'll talk for a few minutes. Uh, off. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. So for real, <laughs> in my bathroom in my basement, this has been my worst holiday. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Later.